I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a still life. Now a still life drawing is a drawing of inanimate objects, things that aren't alive. So we're going to take one finger at the top towards the left and we're going to put a dot. And from that dot we're going to draw a flat oval. I come on the left hand side and I'm going to draw a slightly curved line down and out, slightly straight line down, curve line over, and leave it floating. I come back up on the right hand side and I'm going to draw a straight line down, curve line out, slightly straight line down, and connect. I come right back up to the top. I'm going to take two fingers and put a dot. And at that dot, I'm going to draw a curve line down, up, and leave it floating. I come back to the left and I'm going to draw a straight line down, slightly curved line over, leave it floating, come on the right hand side, straight line down, and connect. I come back up to the top and I'm going to draw curve line in, curve line down, connect. Right next to that one, curve line up down, up, down, connect. One more, curve line up, down, up, down, connect. Right in the center, I'm going to draw a straight line, straight line, straight line. Right at the top, I'm going to draw a baby circle, baby circle, baby circle. I come on the left hand side and just draw a curve line, curve line, jump over, curve line, curve line, connect. Come to the middle one, curve line, curve line, curve line, jump over, curve line, curve line, connect. One more, curve line, curve line, going down, jump over, curve line, connect. Now I come over to this space right here. I'm going to pick a spot and put a dot, and from that dot I'm going to draw a curve line down, up, around, connect. I'm going to pick another space right here, and I'm going to put a dot, and I'm going to draw a curve line down, around, up, connect, and I'm going to put one more Let's do a little one right here. Put a dot, curve line down, around, up, and connect. I come back to this first one and I'm going to put curve line up, curve line over, curve line down, connect, and right next to it I put a curve line up, down, connect. I come down to this one right here and I'm going to draw a slightly curved line up, little curved line over, slightly curved line down, connect, right next to it, curved line up, down, connect. And right here on my little one I'm going to put slightly curved line up, curved line over, curved line down, and right here curved line up, down, connect. Okay, now I'm going to draw a horizon line. And this is very important because now all of these inanimate objects that are not alive are going to be sitting on a tabletop with a back behind it. So I draw a straight line, it crashes into that, jump over, continue it, straight line, jump over, continue it, straight line, jump over, continue it, straight line, jump over, continue it to the edge of your paper. Now we have things sitting on the top, on the bottom, 
up against the top. All right, let's see how we're gonna color this in. Okay, we're gonna keep this really, really simple, but everybody can color these in any way they want because you are the artist. But I'm gonna keep mine really, really simple because I want you to be able to see blocks of color, which is gonna be each one of these inanimate objects and how they work together. So this first space I'm doing yellow. Okay, next to it, I'm going to do these spaces green, regular green, and again, like I said, you can color these in any colors you want, but I'm making mine real simple, so I'm going to do these sections green, spaces, then I'm going to use my blue green, my turquoise, to do the little tops on top. So this space, I'm gonna do turquoise or blue-green. And like I said, you can add your own colors, and for that matter, you can make your own shapes. These are the ones I'm using. Now, I'm gonna come in, and I'm just gonna do another block of color. This is blue. and. I'm going to bring it all the way down, keep it simple, but like I said, if you want to draw more designs on yours, you can. You can add more colors. These are just suggestions of what I'm doing, okay? So there's your black of color, a blue. And last, I'm going to do these spaces. So I'm going to do this green. I'm going to do this space brown. And I'm going to do this space red. So basically what we've done is for the main spaces of blocks of color. We're doing the primary colors, yellow, blue, and red. We're adding some other colors to add detail, but basically it's primary colors on a still life, blocks of color. Real simple. Okay, and again, Maybe you want to draw a different type of uh, fruit. You can. It's up to you. Now, for my last part, I'm taking a pink, which in my situation is almost a neutral color, and I'm drawing straight pink lines in the background to finish off the back part of this drawing. Once I've done that, I'm taking the same color and I'm loop-de-looping the bottom part or the bottom section of my horizon line with the same color as the top stripes. Just to give it a little extra oomph. A little bit of pattern for the top. A little bit of color on the bottom. Okay? Real simple. And like I said, you can change almost all of this to any way you want. You are the artist. Okay, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here is my still life all colored in using a uh, series of block of colors and being conscious that they're inanimate objects. So you would not draw a live puppy in this. Okay, bye-bye.